that's a certain style that many found it found very interesting. It's a method I've used for geez, for a long, long, long time. As far back as I can remember. Uh but anyway, basically what you can do is tie the same fly and add weight to the bigger sizes. This is size twelve. And you can use obviously different materials to get the and get the same effect. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's quite simple. Now, in the original fly I used uh, for the rib, uh, it was a fine copper wire, extra small wire, and an extra small red wire, and the, and the grey turkey version. And it's this to give you the idea of the gauge. This is the wire, an extra small UTC wire. Now the three flies I'm going to tie. I'm just going to use copper wire to tie it. The hook is up to yourself, pick whatever hook you like, but in the winter months I like a good heavy hook and this is a Camasan, it's a B175 and it's a size 12, uh, I mean I've been tying 14s as well, uh, but to show you exactly on the size 12 is, I do fish size 10s as well, now depending on how windy it is really, you can control the depth, but basically what you do is, start short of the eye and leave your cell a, a bare part of the hook, because it does build up. Now I'm using a ceramic bobbin holder. This is a TMCO. And the wire doesn't break as easy on this. It's much smoother. But I'm going to build up the thorax using the wire. Just build it up. So you're happy with the thickness and the weight you want. And then I'm going to work my way down till the bend of the hook. Just start, as it starts to come round, stop. Press in line with the barb. For the basic pheasant tail, just use the pheasant tail fibre. Maybe 68 fibres there. And bring them 90 degrees from the stem. The tips will line up. And then tear it off. Body length is the length of the tail. And to your finger and thumb. Now to reduce the distance between the bobbin and the hook. And you'll find it's much quicker to get around. And easier to control that turn. In this case two turns. Bring the wire in front. Work your way up, just building up the body area and the thorax if you want, to that point there. Now what I'm going to do, secure the, the wire to the hook with some super glue. And then I'm going to wind the pheasant's tail towards myself, just spreading it out as you wind up, forming the shape. Don't be shy with the bulk of this fly. All the way up till you get to the wire. Now, just going to make sure it's caught. There you go. Come in with a turn onto the pheasant tail and a turn onto the hook. Do it a couple of times so it, so it doesn't move. Leave the waist piece there at the moment and then we do a straight turn at the back. And we do one, two, coming into the third rib. We get these pheasant tail fibres, bring them towards the top, catch them down. Just kind of continue with the, the wire as a rib. You see this is the waste piece of the wire, or the waste piece you normally throw this away. But it's going to be the rib. Unprotect the fly, take it all the way up. Single turn round. What I do then is bring the pheasant tail over for the thorax. Now here's your nail to sort of spread it slightly. You can see how it's sitting. Doing a couple of turns at least to make sure it's held on, trim away the waste. You're reducing the number of turns because of the bulk of the wire. Form the head, come straight in. Now when you're forming or whip finishing, make sure like one turn in front of the other. So you don't jam. Then it's a continuous. Just keep going, don't stop. Then bend and break away the wire. And there we are, that's your pheasant tail. Really simple to tie. And then all we want to do is varnish the head. Now you fill your box in no time with these. And do tie them in different colours. Black's very good. Especially in the locks. And obviously the different colours, natural dyed, yellow and so on, and olive, which work extremely well. Now I'm going to sort of tie the, the hair's ear version. Really simple as well. Right to the same hook. 
Ich ist schon Ende Start short. Just maybe a minute, a mill or so from the eye. Again, we're going to build up the thorax. Keep going to your happy with the, the shape. And then work our way down. Just before we ground the bend, tie in the pheasant tail, which is going to be for the tail and the thorax cover. Same amount of fibres, 6 to 8 or so. Again, tail length will be the same length as the, the body. Shorten the distance between the wire and the hook so you can get around quick. A couple of turns. Now this time what we're going to do is I'm going to dub on some natural fur onto the actual wire. And it does dub on very easy. So just dub it on. And don't worry if you see the copper wire coming through. This, to me, actually adds to the effect of the fly. It works really well. And then what we want to do is just work our way up. Just tying in the pheasant tail as we go. Keeping it on the top. And we just keep going all the way up. So imagine just covering the thorax as well. Need a wee bit more of the dubbing. Now you can obviously use a thread instead of using the wire. Uh, it's up to yourself. When we're happy, sham, just bring the wire to the front. And again, like we did with the pheasant tail, we had a turn at the back. One, two, coming into the third turn, we pull the pheasant tail over. Make sure it's flat and across the back of the thorax. Ignore it at this point as a just carrying on rib, rubbing the fly across the wire once, bring over the pheasant tail. Single turn now again, make sure you spread this out. A couple of turns or so to make sure it's going to hold, trim away the waist. And again, we can build the head up with the wire. Come in, flat finish. Try and get it as straight as you can. One, two, three. And then we can bend and break away the wire. Now, what we can do as well, get the Velcro, bring out some of the, the dubbing. It's got a wee bit of a leggy look. There's a adds a weight to the fly the, the wire, but it adds like a medium weight, which is is really good to have in your flies. And the varnish round. Now I'm going to tie a, a colour bug version, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Just clean that eye out. Now we all know the Chadwick's 477. If we can get it, it's quite rare to it's quite hard to find, but there is good subs out there. You have to just cut a length off. Use the same hook. It much the same method as we tied the hairs here, but we're using the dubbing, uh, the the yarn. So this is basically a killer, killer bug pheasant tail mix, if you want to call it. Again, we want to start a mill or so from the eye. Build up the thorax. With the wire, I got them down two or three times. I'm never too fussy about it. I just Build up to I'm happy. Keep the the wire flowing as much as you can from the bobbin. And we're happy we start to work our way down. Just before it goes around the bend, get a pheasant tail fibre. Again bring it 90 degrees, line up the ends, tail length to your final thumb. Shorten the distance between the bobbin and the hook again. Come round twice. This one there, yeah. so what I'm going to do is take that out. And then get your yarn, in this case the colour bug yarn. So you tie it on the side, and you work my way up. All the way, taking the pheasant tail fibre and keeping it on the top. Take it out, bring the wire to the front. Wind our yarn up. Just 
all of here, just carry on. Nice and tight, strong yarn. This time I'm just going to come across the wire, making sure the pheasant tail, I don't want the pheasant tail tied too far towards the eye. Just do a turn or two, I can't see yarn in in front. Just watch, don't trim away your pheasant tail. Take your time at that point. And again, we're going to do a straight turn at the back with the wire. One, two, into the third turn, bring our pheasant tail fibre over. And we can spread it, as I say, a wee bit. Carry on ribbon all the way up. Catch it with the turn, come over the pheasant tail fibre. Just make sure you spread it. Let me quite look and see how things look, the tail. Yeah, quite happy with that, yep. And then a couple of turns. Trim away the waist. Tidy the head up. Just make sure there's no fibres going forward there. Don't be shy with the head of the fly with the copper wire because it works. And tidy the head up. Quick finish, bend and break away the wire. And that's three patterns, or three sort of different styles you can mess about with. Varnish the, the head. Yeah, fluffy, I'm going to trim away. All the way around, and that's the colour bug version of the fezzy tail, tied with a copper wire. These all catch really well, all catch fish uh, everywhere. Now, as you can see, there's some other styles there you can mess about with the, the grey turkey version, colour bug, the hair's ear, all great patterns. So I hope you enjoyed that.